guys, I wanted to share with you how I set up, uh, I guess, a project management system for a new company, new project. Um, so the space that we're using here, first of all, it doesn't matter, but uh, the space is ClickUp, which is actually new to me, so I don't know the space that well, but if it functions like most other project management softwares, it's, uh, it's figure outable. So here are the different categories that I'll set up when it comes to um, how I set up the project management system, and then I'll discuss kind of what the workflow looks like on your timeline. So first, um, this is not an actual workflow thing, but I will put in here um, how we operate our company heartbeat. And the reason that this is here is because when you think about all the tasks that you're doing, you want to make sure that those tasks are in line with where you're actually going and who you are, um, whether that's you and more importantly, whether that's one of your employees um, that's creating tasks tasks or executing on tasks or making decisions on how that outcome is going to look. And so it's important to me to actually have a couple of things in here that help support the decision making and the, the tasks that we make as a priority. Um, the first is the company heartbeat. In here we've got core values, um, the core focus, our purpose, cause, passion, um, who we serve, and then what's the new opportunity we provide to that audience that we serve. So we'll throw that into the company heartbeat and that's that forms who we are as a, as a company, as an entity. Um, I don't have anything in here. This part, obviously, you can fill out yourself. Uh, you, that's not the important bit. Next piece that we have here is the strategic roadmap. So in addition to having a, a sense of who we are, a strong sense of who we are and what drives us and our why, um, then we have to know where we're going. So under the strategic roadmap, we've got here, you can see where we're going. Um, there, we formulate what's our long-term vision, what are our five-year goals, what are our three-year goals, one-year priorities, and then we have the quarters. So quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. And, oh, it looks like actually I could add another one here. Um, we could add in our two-week sprint. So what our two-week sprint looks like. Actually, you could probably create that, though, as a separate um, task in here. But let's not worry about that right now. This is basically what goes under strategic roadmap. Um, these are the, the longer term vision goals where we're going. Um, and then from there, all I do is I just set up our departments. So then I've got product dev um, and this is product dev new ideas. So any ideas that you have, you're like, oh, I'll just pop them in here. And here you can see all I've done is create the spaces. I haven't actually listed anything under them. Um, folders or ideas or anything. So from here, it's pretty simple. It's just product dev, new ideas, operations, finance, uh, legal, sales, marketing, and then backlog. Backlog are the ideas or the, the projects that maybe you were working on and then you decided to stop doing and that's okay. But there's a chance you might come back to them. Um, so you put it in the backlog. There's also, uh, there's a concept called just pausing. Just pause the work, see if you actually need it in order to operate. If you don't, then don't do it. Um, and backlog is a good place to put that kind of project. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so backlog is where that kind of stuff goes. And then from there, it either gets reintroduced or it gets, um, it gets trashed. Uh, this also is a spot where maybe you go from product dev to like, oh, okay, we've got a number of different ideas or things that we need to do, but we don't know exactly where to put them. It's just, yeah, these are things that need to get done, so they get put into the backlog. And then what we'll do is typically once a month, we'll go in here and take a look and see what needs to get put into the different um, different spaces. And then uh, within each of these, um, there's gonna be one more space here which is the two week sprint. And this kind of forms everything that you're doing in the next two weeks that are priority. So what's the priority overall in the company in the next two weeks? And we'll just pick a pick a color for that. Let's see, what's a color we haven't used yet? Um, there's gotta be colors in here that I haven't used. <laughs> I'm gonna go with whatever, this. Um, and you can put things here and then this is obviously, this is more to do with um, 
the actual platform itself. But once we're in here and we create this, now I've got this space in here, this two week sprint, this is really where we spend the majority of our time. So even though we have all the different departments, um, as the manager of the company, I will, I will say, okay, this is my top priority for this two weeks, or maybe if it's at the end of the two weeks, starting to create what's top priority for the next two weeks. And I'll take a look at all the different departments and pull tasks from there. And then I'll put them into the two week sprint and say, okay, um, these are things that are highly, highly important. And then we operate in these two week sprints. But the only way you can do that effectively is if you actually have your strategic roadmap that says where we wanna go. And we're constantly revisiting that and saying, okay, are the tasks that we're doing um, in alignment with where we want to go this quarter and this year and the next three years and five years and all of those things. So um, the reason you have the departments really is just for the department heads and to try and just keep your tasks organized into the, the different departments. Um, you can obviously create a new space if you don't have it within the departments here, but we try and keep everything within those departments. If you have something that's really operationally heavy within your business, within one of those departments, um, then you might create a whole new space for it. Let's say, for instance, we had a company where uh, hiring was a massive department um, within. So as opposed to just putting operations, we created a whole, whole new space for it. But other than that, basically this is how we set things up and we run them. Uh, I might do a separate video on how we would run meetings and what the meeting schedule looks like because that kind of plays into this and how we use this, this um, concept. But in terms of the initial setup, that is what it looks like. All right, hopefully that was <laughs> useful to you. And I guess I'll see you in the next video.